Hey, what's up guys, it's Farmer Jack, and today we're gonna to talk about sugar apples. Sugar apples are super, super delicious, and they're just something to be enjoyed. They're really, really expensive, and you can get them at these fruit stands, um, but I like to grow them myself, so check it out. We got some fruits coming. Yes, you see it? Yeah, so they fruit around this time, like Labor Day, kind of August, September, and they're ripe, and then if you miss it, you miss it. So you gotta be out here kind of every day. Like, look at this. We miss this one. And it happens. We're abundant, so it's not a big deal. But I love these things, so I'm always out here seeing if it's ready. You'll know if it's ready when it's like kind of soft to the touch, and it'll like be bulging out. It's, you know, you kind of see it's like a dinosaur egg shell or something really cool. Once it bulges out, it's ready to go. And it's super good. Um, you don't want to eat the seeds. You just kind of eat that pulp, that white pulp um, on the inside. So good. Um, but check it out. I want to show you just in comparison to this one because it's in the same family. Kind of looks similar, but totally different tree. And it's fruiting. So this might have been the one we featured um, on the soursop video, maybe not, but it has tons of fruit. So these fruit quickly, you could start these from seed, which is cool. These have been in the ground three years, maybe four years for this, maybe, but two or three for this one. And it has, you know, 15 fruit on it. So there'll only be more next year, you know? So yeah, you could start these from seed. And I actually started this one from seed, which is kind of cool. I started a bunch of red sugar apples you know four years ago and here we are eating the fruits cool so it's kind of later in the day so it's pretty shady and these trees are getting bigger but these trees do like sun they uh they are deciduous so they lose their leaves in the winter time which is super normal it's going to sprout back and they're going to look super full and productive in summertime uh, but they will lose their leaves and when trees lose their leaves like that it's a general rule that they like to be planted in the sun. So I would plant it way out in the sun. This was gets direct sun a lot of the day and it's next to this big tree over here. So um, plant it in full sun and don't be afraid. They can kind of be closer together. Like these trees are close together. You don't have to space them out too much like a jackfruit or um, you know avocado or some of these things. So I love to grow these trees. You can fit a lot of them in a lot of these smaller yards and they fruit quickly. They will go quicker if you feed them and uh, with compost and really get the soil great, which we do regardless. Um, and if you water them and all that stuff, they're used to kind of Southeast Asian climate. You know, a lot of the Vietnamese grow these. You'll see them everywhere, um, but super fun to grow. Oh, such good flavor profiles and really sugary and delicious. There's a reason they call it sugar apples. So we're gonna enjoy this. We hope you get inspired to plant yourselves a sugar apple and we'll see you next time.